Alright, oh, I just wanted to do a video proving to you that the Trinity is a pagan idol. Now, before I begin, I want to make something very clear. No, I am not oneness, and no, I am not modalist, okay? I've done videos exposing modalism and oneness. Oneness and modalism is still a heresy. It still, it still denies the God of the Bible, so I'm not a modalist heretic. Because modalism still, is still a wicked heresy. It still rejects the God of the Bible. It does not teach the biblical Godhead. However, the Trinity doesn't teach the biblical Godhead either, because you have this thing of, you have the modalist of oneness versus the Trinity, and either you're a Trinity or you're a modalist oneness. Well, both sides are false. Both sides are, are uh, pagan in their origins. Because with the oneness people, you have, you know, Islam and that kind of stuff, and, and their, their moon god, Allah. And then you have the, the uh, Trinity people with their God the Son, God the Father, God the Holy Ghost, which these titles appear nowhere in Scripture. God the Father, yes, but God the Son and then God the Holy Ghost, nowhere in Scripture. The Son of God is for Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost is for the Holy Ghost. He's not called God the Holy Ghost, but uh, here's a list, and I'm not endorsing his website, by the way, because if you look at the website right here, they attack the KJV, so this is not an endorsement of this wicked website, but they do point out that there are actually pagan trinities. So there actually are pagan gods that that basically are a trinity, a triune god. I'm going to show you right here from Wikipedia as well, that there are pagan, like Hinduism and ancient European and Celtic religions that have a three-person, you know, god, essentially, just like the uh, Trinitarians believe. Am I saying that all Trinitarians are on their way to hell? No. But are the Catholic ones? Because, again, the trinity, it comes from Roman Catholicism at one point, but it also comes from the occult and paganism. Which is also where Roman Catholicism came from, too, by the way. Uh, and, I mean, a whole other subject. But here is here it says below is a list of pagan trinities which formed the Roman Catholic Trinity doctrine, which is true. The Roman Catholic Church took these pagan gods, these pagan three-person gods, and made it into the uh, Trinity Trinity doctrine. I'm just gonna move over my mic. Made it into the uh, Trinity doctrine. That's what it comes down to. So the first one is the uh, Samarain Trinity, Anu Ilau. Ah, I don't know, Babylonian Trinity, Enkel, I'm not going to say the name, Tammuz, Ishtar, then they got the Hindu Trinity, uh, Shiva, Venu, Brahma, I can't see these weird gods' names, the Egyptian Trinity, and they got Ra, uh, these other gods, the Greek Trinity, Taoist Trinity, Taoism is a religion over in Japan, uh, or I think it's China, it's an Asian religion, Roman Trinity, Roman Catholic Trinity, and Protest Protestant Trinity. You have down here, you know, they attack the KJV, you know, so proving these people who made this website are not saved, not endorsing this website, but here you have the uh, ancient Babylonian trinity, here's the Hindu trinity, uh, the Egyptian trinity, the uh, Greek trinity, the uh, J Chinese trinity, I guess, and the Roman Catholic trinity. Now here, you have these, uh, a triple deity, just go on Wikipedia and search up triple deity, and it talks about these different religions that believe in a triune or tripartite God. Uh, triune, you know, because the the God of the Bible is, there is, so before, I want to clear something up first. There is obviously distinction in the Godhead. I've done a video just a few days ago refuting modalism, proving that there is obviously distinction. You know, I, I quoted the verses where Jesus, the Son of God, is at the right hand of God the Father. So there is obviously distinction in the Godhead. I'm not, because again, modalist, modalist and oneness people, they're still false. Modalism is still a wicked heresy, uh, because there is distinction in the Godhead. The Godhead can separate. Uh, the Son of God can be separate from God the Father. Uh, because modalists, they, they, what they basically think, they think that God the Father, the Son of God, and Holy Ghost are just three modes, modes of God, which, again, is not biblical. So what modalist people are still false. But here you have uh, uh, the theory of Indo-European origins, ancient Near East, here you have ancient Celtic cultures. I'm going to read you this. The Matris and Matroni are usually represented as a group of three, but sometimes as many as 27, three times three times three. Inscriptions, they're associated with motherhood, fertility. Uh, inscriptions to these deities can be found in Gaul, Spain, Italy, Rhineland, and Britain. Their worship was carried by Roman solidary dating to the mid-first century and third century AD. Um, Marida Green observes the tribe Tripleism reflects a way of expressing the divine rather than a, a personification of specific god types. Uh, triad or triple beings. It talks about Welsh, Irish, myth, mystic. Then it talks about uh, religious, anographic, uh, 
goes on down there. Uh, but here you have this right here. You have these things of these three persons of this this uh, trinity, essentially this pagan Celtic trinity, Hinduism. In Hinduism, there is a supreme divinity, Para Brahman, which can take the form of Tum Turi, which in which in cosmic functions of or which in which the cosmic functions of creation, preservation, and destruction of the universe is performed by three deities: Brahma, the creator; Vishnu, the preserver; and Shiva, the destroyer. So they have their own trinity as well. You know, Father, the Creator, God the Father, Preserver, you know, the Holy Ghost, the Destroyer, you know, Jesus Christ, you know, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Or the Father, Ghost, whatever. But again, they have their own little trinity they made up. Hmm. I wonder where they got the idea from. It's paganism. I mean, what I mean, I mean, what I mean by is, what, I wonder where the Roman Catholic Church got their idea from. Paganism, Hinduism. Uh, which were at the same time, some or three forms of the one bra see look there are three forms of the one para brahman three persons in one god that's what the hindus believe they have their own trinity then it goes down to uh christianity which is mostly just a roman catholic church but here's proof i mean just proof right here that the uh trinity is a pagan idol it comes from paganism it's not biblical so, uh, and again, I'll, I keep saying this because, you know, I have these haters who, my, my enemies will just call me a, a oneness modalist. I have my haters who just, you know, will attack me and call me a oneness modalist heretic. Again, modalists are still false. Modalism is still, is still false because there is obviously a distinction in the Godhead. The Godhead, the Godhead can separate. The Son of God can separate from God the Father. I'm not, I'm not denying that. But there's not three persons or anything like that. You know, it's ridiculous. The Trinity is a pagan idol wicked. So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.